Samsung, proud sponsor of Techbusters. Advertisers and marketers are always looking for unique ways to get to you as a consumer to display their goods and try and attract your attention. That's what marketing is about. We find these displays in supermarket aisles, on billboards all over the place. But tonight on Tech Busters, we're going to display and we're going to show you something that you've never seen before. It's a first of its kind in the world and it's something that's been developed by two South African entrepreneurs. And with us in the studio, we've got Andrew Kududaris from this incredible company called Onyx Glass. Onyx Media have developed this incredible product that is really unique. As you can see, it's a fridge that we have in behind us, but what's inside the fridge and what you're seeing on the outside of the fridge is what's unique. Andrew, welcome to Tech Busters. Nice Thank to you. have you with us. Okay, okay. Now, what exactly is Onyx Glass? Okay, so great. Basically, Onyx Glass is a, a patent pending solution that my partner and I put together yeah. uh, it's using transparency uh, in a space where we're able to create a brand new communication channel uh, in the point of purchase from a retail marketing perspective that hasn't been successfully cracked uh, anywhere in the world as, as we know. So this is kind of freaky because you can see there are bottles of champagne inside but on the outside we are getting uh, advertising coming through of a, of a beer brand as you can see it's Heineken I'm getting thirsty just looking at it but the idea is that you can display virtually anything on the outside and it, uh, even if it conflicts with what's on the inside right? Correct so what we've done is what it does is it creates a whole new media space where this now becomes the media real estate. What's actually being displayed is full HD content. As you said, you're able to see the, the, the physical products behind in the point of purchase. And this is where the media now will be fought for in terms of space because this is where the buyout happens. Now, how do you get the see-through part? Because it's a television that's here that I'm watching an advert being played, and yet I can see what's inside here. I mean, I can get a bottle of champagne if I want to, and it's right here. So I'm actually displaying the media, which is kind of weird. Okay. Uh, so how, how exactly do you do that? So what we've done is we've taken multiple layers which we've put together yeah. and we've created picture a giant screen with multiple layers of uh, application that we've got, got inside as our little formula and that is able to be retrofitted onto an existing cooler door or built into a fridge from the point of uh, purchase, of point of manufacture rather. And uh, what it does is it's the, the uniqueness is that we're able to show the transparency, full HD, we can show the color white, it's completely self-illuminated, and there's an even spread of light across the entire, every little pixel across the fridge. So you can see inside, there's no fridge light running yeah. uh, at the I, moment. I see that, yeah. The actual light inside the cooler is completely off. So the actual screen is right in here. Correct. But what I love about this over here is that what's quite interesting for our viewers is that this is interactive as well. So I see you've got some kind of an eye over here. So if a, if a viewer comes up in front or somebody wants to get a drink and they come up in front, this whole screen becomes interactive. Right? Correct, correct. Now, how does it become interactive? What are users able to do here? So, basically, from the interactive perspective, we'll just launch that now. Yeah, okay. Um, so, you can, you basically, from an interactive point of view, uh, you can create some kind of competition over correct. here. If people want to come up and they want to play games or they want to do all sorts of things, they can do that just using the fridge uh, as we speak right now. Correct. So and you can display any kind of content. Correct. So, it becomes an extension where it actually immerses the customer in. Because we can show the color white, which is very unique with transparent screens, yeah. we're able to show QR codes, we're able to show augmented reality, which means that the customer can now engage with the brand, have a couple of seconds moments with the, the media, and then take that away with them on their mobile devices and carry on entering competitions, et cetera, et cetera, giving their data. So I'll just show you here, if I can, just a quick demo. We've rigged this one up with the gesture. There we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you got all the... Correct. Uh, so you can see something like this, manager specials, where brands are spending tens of thousands a month on uh, printing posters and putting them on the, the fridges and in different locations in the store. Now we're able to uh, literally customize these to run at specific times, specific hours in the day. That's uh, fantastic. Now, Andrew, what has been the interest? Now, you've mentioned, um, you've mentioned to us uh, earlier, if you can just come and stand sure. here. So we, we, got, we got a sense of what it can do. Now, you've mentioned to us earlier that uh, you've got all sorts of interest. This is patent pending, right? So right. it's not commercially available yet. But where does an entrepreneur like you take this to the next step? Have you had interest from big advertisers, from big technology companies? Because this is seriously wow. Correct, thank you. Basically, yes, it is commercially ready. Uh, we're good to go. We're production ready at the moment. Um, and we've got a certain volume that we can push out per week, per month. The interest, we've toured this uh, last year about nine times overseas. We physically took this 
uh, fridge with us. So this is probably got more air miles than most people. And um, we ascertain demand in the Middle East, America, uh, Europe, and demand is huge. We've uh, signing up letters of intent from guys that want to distribute this in Australia, uh, Europe, America. So when are we going to see the first commercial unit being available? It's going out tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Correct. Where about? Uh, we're going into filling stations. Okay. Um, and then the following weeks, we're going into some supermarkets. So we can't disclose which brand has taken it on yet, but keep an eye out and we'll let you know. Good luck. That's Thank Onyx you. Glass, uh, a unique way of displaying your goods, marketers. Uh, this is coming to you very, very soon. And I must say, as, uh, as a consumer myself, just looking at this product, it certainly excites me. Look out for this product in the market. It's called Onyx Glass. It's made by South Africans and it's about to go international and it's about to go big. And you saw it for the first time on Tech Busters.